Whose name might rhyme with cinch.co.uk, vassals? Our next guest has held our hand in Japan, shared our spaghetti in Italy, and now he's taking us all for an Indian. His latest <laughs> travel series, James May, Our Man in India, is out today on Prime Video. So let's all say hey, hey, the Virgin Radio way to James May. Good morning, James. Good morning. That I was, liked that was our, fabulous. I liked but... our pre-on-air chat. That would have done, wouldn't it? Yes, I think that was, I don't know, would you have broadcast that has revealed a lot of th- not, not sinister things but actually nerdy things yeah but i liked it yeah i liked it we, I met, liked we, it. we sort of met where we left off he likes cars by the way he loves cars on the corner mm. don't you if we yeah. were in a, if we were in a pub having this discussion it would go on for probably three or four hours not anymore because i don't drink you don't have to drink to go to a pub i say for this is a man who do. owns one for four hours you do that's the whole point that was your, that was the thing in there i'm happy to go to the pub with you but i ain't staying for four hours okay Four out. Yeah, you're right. You can't, <laughs> you can't go to a Just lean in before. a bit, James, if you don't mind. Get a bit close to that mic. Okay, so you had a high old time in India. Our man in India, available on Prime. Um, you had a paint splattered daytime rave that you had to stop filming because the cameras were in peril. I saw that. Mm-hmm. Uh, spinning blades amidst mass plastic recycling. Yes. That was going on. Uh, the butt of a razor sharp stand up act. Yes. You survived that. She's very funny. Yes, though, she, she is funny. She's very, that cruel, line about the comb. Yeah, I know. Cheap <laughs> shot, I thought. <laughs> I mean, Do you remember the line? Yeah, it's about come and invade the country and see if, <laughs> it, see if you've got a comb. Yeah, so, so James is in the audience and he's, he's, his hair is his hair. And she says, oh, uh, James, you need a comb. Why don't you just invade a country and take one from them? <laughs> It was hilarious. It's something she wouldn't let drop. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very funny. Uh, what else did you get up to? I've written it all down here. Um, uh, well, I ended up giant in... Giant kite fly. <laughs> yes. Uh, in between monsoons and much, much more. Um, you had a right life, didn't you? Yeah, it was fantastic. Uh, India's one of those places that... Um, Westerners, well, British people especially, are slightly scared of mm. because they think, oh, I'll go to India, oh, it's so complicated, it's so busy, it's so chaotic. It's Which is so all true. Ordinary. But it, it is true, but it's it's a managed chaos. And actually, I didn't really have any problems. Now, full disclosure, <laughs> we had an excellent team of fixers <laughs> and, and a driver. Of course you didn't have and any a, problems. <laughs> yeah. and somebody, they weren't scripted. I don't have to do any of that stuff. I just stand up and speak. You know? Yeah, so how irrelevant was that, is that statement? But I, Well, it is still relevant because I don't think people should be scared of India. It's, it's um, surprising and bits of it are very busy, but yeah. bits of it are very empty as well. Yeah. So, you know, don't be put off. It's it's a, it's a great adventure. Mumbai. I had a wonderful time in Mumbai. Um, it was an extraordinary thing. It's probably the most uh, sort of profound um, visitation of anywhere that I've experienced, for sure. Mumbai, yeah. I, fe- I See, I found Mumbai, I've been there several times. I find that quite hard work. I find, in a weird way, Delhi more relaxing. Um, but there's a great rivalry. So Aditi is is from Mumbai, the guy, the comedian guy, but uh, Vikramjit is from Delhi. And they were both explaining to me how it's a bit like, I don't know, Manchester and Liverpool or London and Birmingham. You know, if you you have a fealty to one and you will defend it vigorously <laughs> against the other. Yeah, you're not quite sure why, but no, you just do. No, I don't do. know. But, but it was when I go, I just think, well, it's it's sort of, it's all India as far as I Paddy can tell. Paddy football, <laughs> Vassos, this is the thing. You can't have two teams. People say you can't. Have, I mean, people do have two teams. You know, my do friend they? Michael, he's got Chelsea, West Ham. Um, Rachel has Chesham and Liverpool. But apparently, if you're a real football fan, you just can't have two teams. Is that right? You, you can sort of have some abroad teams, if you like, or you can have, uh, you know, the rules like bit, Sunderland though. and Chesham because, yeah. you know, Sunderland's your championship team and Chesham's your nice little non-league but team. But my, my friend who has West Ham, uh, West Ham Chelsea. No, it's not on. Not allowed. Not allowed. <laughs> not having it. Now you mention it because I don't, I don't have a football team, but actually I've never heard of anybody supporting two Premier League or, you know, big yeah, English clubs. It happens a lot. You think it happens a lot? Happens. No, I know it happens a lot. Does it? Yeah. And West Ham seem to feature quite heavily. Yeah, sort of. People want to be cool, saying, "Well, West Ham's my team, but I've got a season ticket at Chelsea." Why? Yeah, we have. We're. Uh, I'm a Fulham season ticket holder, and we're sort of a lot of people's second teams. Oh, I like Fulham. This well, second come team support thing. us then. Don't be our. You because know. you have armed first of all in Japan and Italy, and then, and now you've chosen India. Um, was there a pecking order, or was it was it COVID or? What? Well, uh, well. Um, Italy sort of came out of COVID in that it was very difficult to go to a lot of places. We had planned, we, we planned India before. Right. Uh, that became difficult. We we did have one, a trip across the US, but that became difficult because of visas, 
um, the evacuation of Afghanistan and all sorts of other things got in the way. In the end, Italy was somewhere I wanted to go because I love it as a place. Yeah. Um, but it was actually pretty much the only place we could go. Yeah, and you and can get only... there in a couple of hours. Yes. And it's, but I mean, it, to be honest, Italy is in a sense too easy because it's a European country. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not unfamiliar. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Japan and India, yeah. they are they are slightly well, more Well, the cultures are so different. That's the yeah. point, isn't it? And they're diff- very different from each other as you know, well. We are all human beings, here. but the cultures are so, so different. So give us the headlines from India, from from what you experienced um, this time well, around. Well, you're getting, you mentioned getting covered in paint. Yes, yeah, quite a bit of eating. The Indians, it turns out, are feeders. Well, hang on a minute. Episode one, I've, I've written this down. Episode one doesn't feature much food or drink. I'm thinking, does it? do you get onto that? As yes, th- we get onto that. Um, because it, you, didn't re- you mentioned to- eating but you didn't really Daddy. eat or drink we don't we don't want to make the, the, the one of the problems with travel and tourism is that it very quickly descends into people going to other countries and just eating their food and believing that that is a great cultural experience now it is a it is an important part of it mm. certainly but it's not everything so we don't want it to and i already make a cooking show so we don't, <laughs> don't want to do another one there is a bit of cooking in it it's disastrous well you also make a travel right, show yeah. it's called the grand tour isn't it it's well yeah like, you're right actually yeah. i'm very confused as a human being um but, yes, they're feeders, the Indians. So, yeah. you, you know, you go for the equivalent of just going to a, a high street cafe in, in Britain. So you go for a thali or something and, they, and you, you sit down and they obviously they come around. You've got your tray and you get all your little usually vegetarian curries and, and you get your dal and so on. And then and but they will come around and they will keep giving it to you until you sort of beat them off. What about run the away. drinks from? What is the big drink out there? Uh, I suppose it's chai chai which is the best way of describing it is tea stew right i was having this debate with an indian bloke the other day so um how did that go (laughs) did he win (laughs) well he sort of did in that he he had the the moral high ground in a yeah and also the knowledge i would imagine (laughs) he had a great deal of knowledge yeah but chai so the indians have got there's danger of generalizing here and i accept that and especially about a country as big and as varied as india but the indians do have quite a sweet tooth right. if you've ever had any indian confections or those little cakes they no, make no they are look, sweeter they, than sugar yeah yeah they just blow your head off with yeah. sweetness um, so chai you 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 boil the whole thing up together as far as i understand so the tea the water the milk some spices some sugar sort of anything you fancy throwing in yeah. really it's a bit like making soup it is like a tea soup talking of throwing uh, and we talk about the paint festival it's not so much you get paint thrown at each other it's paint powder yes so it's, it's, it's a bit that confused me a little bit i it's i mean it all goes back it's it's goes back to sort of hindu mythology and about people painting each other's faces that that's where it stems from i think the the powder paint is the it, the easiest way to do the colorful thing but also it washes away yeah because that's the big because when i got up in the morning i thought so this place is either going to be burnt to the ground by all the bonfires and it's all going to be purple red and green because of all this powder paint that's been thrown around why isn't it permanently that color as this happens every year but they obviously it obviously rinses Water away based, isn't it? and but the powder paint's the one we had at school isn't it yeah, from exactly. the tins it's like, but it and doesn't it's that come, that you throw it, but it doesn't come out of your hair and your eyebrows that I know. Can, it washes off of buildings but not off of by me. the way it was a great look <laughs> well actually to be honest i didn't mind it i did refer to myself as my little pony which is sort of what i look like with a bit of purple and a bit of yellow in a bit my of unicorn but, going on. yeah but, I, but well, after a while i thought well you know if this is permanent it could be worse i, I love it when um you break the fourth wall in the show which you do quite a few times um the crew are very annoying the, yeah. the crew <laughs> crew annoying and funny and professional and you've got a you, you've got a good vibe going on i particularly liked it <laughs> when you were doing a couple of pieces to camera and people were clearly waiting to throw more paint powder on you and you just stopped what you were saying you went oh go on just do yeah. it <laughs> well see that that was very difficult so in this in the square yes in the town that the the party starts i mean it starts the night before with the bonfires but it's going on and they've already got the paint going so we're hiding just behind the scenes where the where the big disco speakers are yeah. knowing that you'll understand this that that You've only got one chance to do that piece to camera because yeah. as soon as I go out there, I'm going to get covered in paint. Yeah. And so is the camera. Yeah. So is the cameraman. So is the sound man's boom, everything. So I sort of got this. I had to remember the story from Hinduism, got that straight in my head. I Very thought, impressive, this is what, by the way. This is what, thank you. This is what I want to say. So I was, everybody was ready. I said, right, is everybody ready? This is our chance. If we get it wrong, this whole scene is scrubbed because I can't, get, I can't go out there with paint already on me. Yeah. So I go out and I say, and I thought, this is working. Massive 
handful of yellow powder paint hits me right in the eyeball, mm. which was thrown by the visiting Amazon executive. Oh, is actually. it? Yeah. Um, but I just about managed to get through it. And I just say eventually, because I've already got someone, I say, you, you know, I've said, I've said as much as I'm going to be able to say here. Off you go. Yeah. And within a minute, the camera was covered in paint. I loved anyway, it equally so. for a similar reason. I loved the... Um, the um uh, amusingly exploding bonfire as well. Another yeah, terrifying. Piece of, really terrifying. <laughs> yeah. so, so they have these bonfires and, and they set the, their pyres, their beacons, and they, they're lit sequentially as the festival, the night festival goes on, the day turns to night uh, and uh, everything else goes on. But then they put explosives in the bonfires, exactly. which explodes spontaneously and quite... A, a, quite a high risk level, I would imagine. Enormous. Well, they they did they did say to me. I, I knew what they did. They said, you know, Mr. James, there are firecrackers, Mr. John. or Mr. John, <laughs> as it became later. But I knew that. But I thought bangers like we have on bonfire yeah. night. You know, so they sort nope. of go fat. <laughs> they're, they're not. They're these strings of proper firecrackers, and they send blazing embers. I mean, quite a few of them hit me. Some of them hit the. I was jumping back from the telly, the camera. Mate. Yeah. But what did it, but all those bonfires you would have probably seen on my little oh. bike ride. They, some of them are in the middle of sort of roundabouts, but the, the one I was standing next to when I was talking about it is sort of nestling between some quite tall buildings. And yeah. I'm just thinking the whole place is going to burn to the ground. But, but it, it doesn't. doesn't. It they doesn't. somehow manage it. And <laughs> and it's festival City, isn't it, India? There's, there's, yeah. a, there's a lot of them. Sorry, forgive me. Was the paint festival and the fire festival were they linked or not? Yes, it's well. The the paint festival is holy, and the fire festival is the evening before, but it's leading up to right. the big, the big sort of disco rave. Thing. What was great about the disco rave was it, it was a daytime rave. It seemed pretty alcohol-less in as much as you think, oh, well, they're completely off their heads. No, because if you were off your heads, you probably wouldn't do that. You probably think you're doing that and you probably wouldn't be doing that. But real, because when you go to uh, lots of, when you watch cricket in India or when there's a big Indian or Pakistan contingent at a, at a game, uh, most of whom don't drink, they are the best crowd. Yeah. Uh, because they because they're aware, they're present, if you like. Yes. No, you, you're dead right. There was, as far as I could make out, I mean, there were some foreigners there drinking, but on the whole, the locals don't drink at that festival. No, I haven't seen episode two. Are there three? There are three. OK, so where do we go next? Uh, well, from the be from the beginning, we then end up, we go, essentially, it's coast to coast. So we start in Mumbai, we go off through Rajasthan and we do the lake and the holy, and then we go uh, across, we go to Varanasi, we go and see the Taj Mahal, which I'd never seen before, even though I've been to India several times. Then we go up into the hills and we go to the tea plantations. We go to Kolkata, which is the old uh, colonial uh, capital. And then we end up down in the Sundarbans, which is tiger country and, and swamp land and beautiful little villages. And it's, it's the India that Gandhi talked about, where he said the soul of India is, which he said was in its villages. And that's amazing and absolutely gorgeous and very quiet the, the thing about india it is the soundscape of india india is car horns and yeah, yeah. rickshaw horns um which is not a rudeness because it's a it's a it's, different it's a driving culture it's a language but it's also a politeness weirdly whereas in britain blowing the horn is is rude basically it's, yeah it's more about you than yes, what's going on exactly whereas in in a place like india it's a it's a courtesy actually because it's a warning that you're there um but there are no cars down there because the villages are linked by effectively uh, what we would call a cycle track, a path. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you can ride. I did ride a bicycle through it, and you can walk through it, and and it's it's very very idyllic and beautifully coloured, and and the evening light and the morning light are, are fantastic, and and it's also until recently very dangerous because people got eaten by tigers quite regularly. Now, I once had a go at what you did for a living. I don't know if you know if you're aware of that. I had a little go at what you used to do. Um, oh, yeah. car show. The, uh, yeah, sorry, I had a go at it. It was, sorry, that was a bit subtle. Yeah, it was like um, <laughs> it was like I wanted to compete. It's like being a competition winner. You may have heard about it or not, but I had a go, and yes. it was it was nowhere near as easy as I thought it was going to be. It's no. quite difficult. It's clearly what you did for a living. It's running through your veins. Alan Wicker, of course, has done these kind of shows before. Michael Palin has done the kind of shows you're doing. Yeah, before. I'm very aware of this. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> so tell me, because you you are now in the same situation that I was in, where you you were concerned. How did you feel about that? People have seen the Taj Mahal before. They've done India before. How do you bring your? Do you know what I mean? How do you bring your sort yes. of uh, flavour to it? I, I think the <laughs> you cross your legs for the first. I, time. De yeah. <laughs> to be honest, it's not quite as difficult as the job you have. If you don't mind me saying, you took on a bit of a bit of a poison one. With yeah, I just started doing doing the next lot of favour. Yes. That's that was that, that was always my plan. Yes. 
I can see that. Yes, I can see <laughs> it was, that. It was really good, wasn't it? It was good. Yeah, it was excellent. Um, so, but I, I am aware of the of the the spectre of of Palin and so on hanging over me. Yeah, um, because they're excellent. Is pa- was, do you think Palin? Wicker was amazing, wasn't it? Uh, well, yeah, Wicker. Yeah, fantastic. But I mean, but that's quite a long time ago. Yeah, and, yeah. The, and the the nature of TV has changed. And what we do. Um, and it's slightly gratuitous in a way, is that we dismantle the format. We did the same thing with the cooking show. We yeah. sort of exposed the pale underbelly of it, which is why we have the... We're very careful with it, but the fourth wall thing with the crew. Yeah. I've been working with those people for 15 years. Everything I've done outside of the car show has been with th- that hardcore of director, cameras, sound and so on. So we sort of understand each other. There's a bit of bit of needle yeah. going on but it's but it's not that's quite keith floydy that this relationship a little bit yeah. yes nothing i've done isn't original chris no by the way none of us none of us <laughs> no. quite, apparently there have been other humans as well <laughs> we're not with this not just been other us radio three. stations it's yeah. crazy eh? yeah so so yes we sort of dismantle it slightly and we, we don't we, we try not to put any pretense on it it's very easy to go to well, any country, but let's say India, since we're talking about it, to go there and say, "Oh, look at this! This is wonderful! This is so mystical! This is this is so spiritual! This is this is so cultural!" And this is and it's it's sort of phony if you're not careful yeah, because yeah. it's it's tourism and tourism is is a bit like tradition. It's and also, it's so easy to access up. nowadays. You can do it yeah. before when Alan Wicker did it. Just him getting on different planes it was like oh that's a, nobody's that. we've never been on a plane like that regardless of where he was going yeah it was a vo- it was a, literally a voyage of discovery via your telly and then michael Payne was a bit more of that but now a lot of us can go and do that very fortunately so you have to do something else i suppose a lot of us can go and do that and a lot of it well virtually all of us can go and do it and film it as yeah. well because everybody can film of everything so maybe tv will eat itself and and you know it is effectively pointing its own camera at its own monitor. That's and not true, disappear. though, is it? Because <laughs> guitars have been available for ages, but we're not all Paul McCartney. So that's not going to happen. No, but you do have to do... You have to put quite a lot of work into learning to play a musical instrument. Yeah, but to do telly that anybody actually wants to watch, is, you've got to be quite good at it as well. Well, let's hope so. Hey. Well, believe me, I've experienced <laughs> both ends of that spectrum, and I can tell you firsthand that is the case. Okay. Well, thank you. That's very encouraging. I was beginning to feel that I I was being forced into retirement by age and circumstance. How and, is uh, it not because... having the other two Herberts either side of you in a similar situation to, to which you've experienced before? But well, when I'm away filming? Yeah. yeah. Well, uh... What do you miss and what do you like? What do I miss? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. No. Um, well, I mean, I mean it's... <laughs> It's an interesting dynamic with the three of us. Three is a crowd in TV as in life. And there's um, also, but there's always a deciding vote. Isn't there? There's always a deciding vote, and it's not really a democracy. Uh, it, it, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, and the, the, the key, I think, to a, to a three-person, a three-header thing like Top Gear and then the Grand Tour is you have to fundamentally, you not, not dislike each other, but sort of slightly distrust each other so that it's a little bit competitive. Yeah, that, yeah. That's, that's what, and that's that what makes go, the that chemistry work. That can go work. pear-shaped if you're not careful. You have, it, it's a very, very delicate thing, yes, and it has to be treated very carefully. Now, when I'm on my own, great, because uh, they're not going to interrupt and I can talk for ages there's an outtake that um i'm going to put on social media where we go to visit shake raymond the, the painter of the the hollywood posters yeah, uh, sorry we, bollywood you have a go don't posters you? yeah but he he's i do the whole piece to camera but i'm standing in the wrong place because yeah. he's actually round the corner but the, the director tommy just lets me They've do left it. that in the show the, uh, it's in the it, show i thought we'd taken that no. out no, it's in. It's in. Oh, it's, no, it was in right. my. Sorry. It was in yes. my show. Yes, it is still in it. Sorry, yeah. I'm getting confused between yeah, they've my. They've left the outtake clips, in the show. Yeah, which is great. So he lets me do all By that. By the way, I, I thought I'd got um, an off-air, un, you know, um, like not, a review copy. Yeah, you know? a review copy. I, th- I thought, no, this is it. So no, no, yeah, sorry, it does look a bit like that in places. Yeah, it's cool it? though. I like <laughs> it. Well, did you watch it and think this will be quite good when they finish editing it? No, I it. thought I hope they leave it like this, <laughs> and they have. Hurrah! <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's sort of what we do. We do leave bits of that in because, it, you know, if you go back, well, let's go back to when I was a, a teenager, which is a very long time ago now, but there was the, the magic of TV yeah. and there was the suspension of disbelief and you, and you, you, you bought into it and you, you went along with the magic. But now everybody knows, because everybody's doing it, they yeah. know basically how TV is made. And it is it is insulting to the viewers to pretend the crew isn't there, or that it's not a bit of a joint effort. Uh, you know, it's a... It, what we're actually doing is inviting you to come along on a bit of a lark, 
a bit of a romp and it's it's me i'm doing most of the talking but it's obviously not just me there's a whole group of us and it needs all of us to work so we're simply acknowledging that and and you know, Tom likes to be on the television. He does, doesn't even, he? even though he says he There's doesn't. There's no reluctance there. No. He needs well, to work all... on his reluctance. Yeah, he, he does need to make his reluctance a bit more authentic. <laughs> and well, Dan on sound, yeah. you know, he's always all, ready for opinion. By the way, all sidekicks. All sidekicks claim they don't want the limelight. They can't wait. <laughs> they can't wait. If you, if you could only take Hammond or the tall bloke, who would you take? On a, on a travel show? Yeah. That's a good question. That's an original question. By the way, you don't have to answer it. Yeah, no, I'm going to, though, but I'm going to think about it. Okay, let's play a tune. Yeah, I was going to say, I need, I need a few minutes. So could, but, could we have a song? Absolutely, 100%. All right, if you could only take Hammond with you on one of these trips or Clarkson, who would you take? Okay, I gave this a bit of thought during Gary Newman. Uh, <laughs> thank you. And I think... I mean, my honest answer is I'd still rather go by myself. That's yes. the joy of it. But if That I wasn't the question. Had, I know it wasn't. Uh I actually think Hammond. I think Clarkson would be good because we're, we're more different than Hammond and I are. Um, but I think it would just be too painful. I like see because Hammond. <laughs> the thing, I, the thing I would the thing I would like about taking Hammond is Hammond is not a very good traveller. Right. He's he's which is bizarre considering what he, he does well, for exactly. a living. But maybe that's why he's good at it. But he he doesn't. He doesn't like being in trouble. He doesn't. He's, he's he's he just clams up slightly if he's in a strange place. He's very much a Ross on Y person. Yeah. And he's he's he he likes his his space and they he likes say, familiarity. They say, you know? People who know you three very well. I know you a bit, don't I? Mm. But people who who know you three very well say that he's very much an AC or a DC to Clarkson's AC, in as much as. When he's plugged into Clarkson, something happens to him and then he's able to travel the world and he's able to not be scared and he's able to get a bit of this Dutch courage. Have you witnessed that? Do you get what I mean? Yes, I, I think... I mean, I don't want to overanalyze Hammond's personality, but he's... I mean, he's a great performer. That's the thing. So you're right, he can plug himself into not just Clarkson, me, or, you know, whoever he's with. But I, I think he's... I don't think he would would naturally go on a say a trip around India, so I think taking him on one would be interesting. Interesting, yeah, because you love travelling, don't you? I, I do like it, and I'm I'm quite relaxed about it, and I think he'd be a good foil. But I, but overall, I think it's something I should continue to do by myself. <laughs> please, please, <laughs> Amazon Prime. Yes, if, I, if just in case Amazon are listening and they think, oh, we hadn't thought well, of that. Well, let's hope they are listening. <laughs> That'd be terrible if they let's put were, Hammond in it. They've well. thro thrown paint powder in your face on location. Um, you James, wouldn't like that bit. You, uh, yeah, I do. I do I, well, actually, I like it all. Um, the your latest toy is this car that you've bought. Um, was it an online auction? Yes. Okay. Um, and it's a, it's a 1989. It would have been a future classic. It now is a classic because cars that are from the 80s and 90s, the um, uh, J JDM cars are great, aren't they? Yes. The, the Japanese domestic market yeah, cars. Yeah, they're, they're massive now, mega. The, the sort of uh, postmodern Fords are big now as well. Yes. Demanding great sums of money. You've gone with this little mini. Tell us why it's special. Um, it's special because it was one of the prototypes of the relaunched Mini Cooper in 1990 or 91, I can't quite remember. Um, so they made three for f photographing for brochures and things and to show to journalists and the like. And I think uh, one of them's definitely gone. I'm not sure where the other one is. I've got the green one. It's only done a thousand miles. I was very, because I like minis, yes. even though they're terrible, but I'm, I've had a few before in my past. So there's a, there's a little bit of sentimentality involved. And I saw it and I thought, that's that's a that's a very rare thing. So that's you have it. a go, you have a go at it. Yeah. Did you have a strategy for the bidding? Yeah. Well, I always do, but I usually ignore it. Yeah. Because you, you get, get auction away. fever. Yeah, you do. That's, that's how they work. Of that's it why is. that's why auction houses are very wealthy. Yeah, and they have grinders as well. Do you yeah. know about the grinders? Yeah. Uh, well, I do. Is it, <laughs> no, no, is no, it the auction grinders? Yeah, no, I know what you mean, but is it true? Yeah, no, it is true. So, so they grind they grind at either end. So they grind the buyer but they also grind the seller do you know about that yeah, yeah well i've done selling and they've been on the phone and said yeah. well if you just lowered your reserve a bit and yeah, yeah, yeah 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 but anyway it, i didn't go for i mean it wasn't cheap for a mini i still think that minis should cost 750 quid they don't anymore yeah 
No. And, um, but it wasn't quite as much as I thought it was going to be, so I thought, well, I'll have it. But now I've got this, this perfectly mint... 1989 mini that actually smells of 1989 it's 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 disarming that's it's unnerving and thing. i sort of think well i could, i can drive it but i can't yeah i, think I can't you thrash about in it i think you I, should because think... you'll never put that many miles in it anyway because you don't have time well no and also you can't stand being in a mini for that long anyway <laughs> so i mean they're... it's a mini that's still mini not a maxi mini oh no no it is a real mini yeah, it's, it's, just, it's a small thing isn't it's, it? a, it's amazing how small those One old small last. cars are things like the mini cinquecento they're tiny um so listen uh our friends at cinch.co.uk they put together the 2023 most searched cars uh for new used cars on their their website last year on cinch.co.uk number five the bmw one series number four the mercedes a-class Dollars Ditch Water, but clearly does the trick. Uh, three, the Ford Focus. Two, the Volkswagen Golf, the mighty Volkswagen Golf. Uh, and at number one, the Ford Fiesta. First made in 76, discontinued as of last year. Yes. Why do you think they would do that, considering it's always been number one, number two? I don't think it's ever been out of the top five top selling cars in the UK and continues to be number one even last year. Why, why might they do that, do you think? Why, why would they discontinue it? Yeah. Well, I just, why I, now? I mean, why not? But how come now? Why not like in 2003 or 2005? Or I suspect it got to the point now, you're asking me essentially a business question here and nobody is worse at business than I am. But I, I suspect it simply wasn't making any money because of the way the trends in car buying have gone over right. the last few years to, you know, crossovers and mini SUVs and big SUVs. Um, Maybe. So a car like the Fiesta, which had, was it seven generations? I've... Six I think or seven. so. They're all usually yeah. seven, eight, nine. The golfs and the yeah. And so I mean, it was a remarkable. I mean, it's not the same car as it was at the beginning. Obviously, yeah, yeah. it's completely different. But it was the same idea, and it f- sort of filled the same niche. But the niches moved. You know, the 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 what do you call them? The market segments. They yeah. moved around. So yeah. I suspect the people who bought a Fiesta it was a bestseller, as you say. Um, they quite readily went on to something else. And did you ever have one? But uh, no, I had mates who had a had Fiestas. I, I still fancy an XR two I. Yeah. But so they, they, again, they've gone through the roof. If you can find a good one, yeah. Anything like that has become a... Um, it's not even a collectible. I think they've become sort of artworks. It's a little bit like buying sculptures. And, and or, they're still so reliable. Yeah. And they drive so well. Point and shoot. It's one of a point and shoot car. I had... Or we can get very boring now. Yeah, let's get I, very boring. Come on. Okay, I went to... I've got a friend... <laughs> Friday. I've got a friend in France. He's got a house in France. And uh, I go and stay... I've got a friend most... in France. He's got a house in France. <laughs> yes. It's like that. He doesn't know how many friends he has until he opens up his house in France. But... Uh, <laughs> He's got, on the premises, he's got a, a, a modernish car, but he's got a Peugeot, an, a late 80s Peugeot 30, uh, uh, 309. So it's a single carburettor, four-cylinder, and oh it's, it's very tatty. And he always says to me, if you want to, you know, we're going out tonight to a restaurant because he lives in the middle of nowhere. He says, if you want to drive the Peugeot, you can. And I say, yes, I want to drive the Peugeot. Because the thing that's great about it, it's an old car and they're terrible and it's baggy and, you know, it's made out of biscuit tin materials. But it has, boring alert, a single carburettor and perfect crisp throttle response, Come which on. makes such a difference. We had, yesterday we talked about coffee car. quite a lot. And um, so we talked about grinding your own beans. Don't know if you do that. Do you do that? No, I don't drink coffee. Okay, so I've just, I've got, I don't know. I, I like coffee more than I ever thought I would. And we talk about grinding your own beans. I don't have a coffee grinder, but people keep sending me these beans. So I've got to keep... I spend most of my life going to places that grind beans should just buy a grinder. And then somebody said, oh, you should get a Peugeot grinder because Peugeot started off making coffee grinding yes. um, um, machines. And, and pepper mills. Be- yeah. Be- yeah, before they made cars. Yeah, and they made bicycles as well. And I think they made sewing machines, or am I thinking of something? A lot of those... It's, it's quite interesting when you look at the history of car companies, how many of them started off with with domestic um, gadgets yeah. or machines or, and bicycles. Yeah, or, and or tractors. Tractors, push chairs, pram, you know, all this sort of thing. So the three big tractor makers were David Brown, mm-hmm. for Aston Martin, DB. So the DB comes from David Brown. He made tractors first, is that right? Yes, and gearboxes. And gearboxes. Yes. And then Lamborghini. Yes. And Porsche. Yes. Okay, they were the three big tractor makers, and a lot of people don't remember them for that, but that's what they did. And now, going back to what you were saying about those cars of the 80s and so on being very collectible, early tractors amongst the tractor loving Especially in golf livery. Yeah, <laughs> they're just worth a fortune. Did they? I mean, uh, clearly, the, um, the, the sort of uh, turquoise and orange tractors, the Porsche tractors, they couldn't have been originally 
painted in golf livery because the golf company no, hadn't d- sponsored Le Mans no, winning exactly, cars. Yes. No, that was, so they've been repainted. Yes, those. They, I think they were probably grey. I like that. Don't you? Yeah, I like the red. grey as well. The old. Now we are getting nerdy. Mm. I, I actually own a tractor. Do you? Yes, it came with my house. Um, it's not a grey Fergie. It's the one after the. Does it have the an offset seat? So you can, because you know why they have offset yeah, seats. Yeah, so you can see around the. Round the side and for the, the ploughing, yeah, to furrow your sh- a, 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 a plough a straight furrow. Yes, now mine doesn't have an offset seat, and it does have a roll a, a, a later roll bar fitted, uh, and I don't really I have no use for it, but I, it's quite a nice thing. To Apparently, sort you're of running way over because you're going to be on this morning. This morning. Oh yes. <laughs> we have such a nice chat. <laughs> yeah, we are We're having way a nice over chat. time. Do I have where's do I have to go to this morning this morning or can yeah. we sit here and talk no, about No, no, you got you got to go. Um, no, we've we got, go. got two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Is all right with everyone? Two minutes. Um mm, that's not a good look. Just, it doesn't matter. Coming we'll take, the minute. We'll take two minutes. Jeez. Okay. Um yes. the, you've just you've just ordered an electric car. Now I have a I have a Skoda Enyaq uh, EV, a VRS any of these for flipping nominal mm. i'm all i've also gone to teslas i don't have a tesla i borrowed a couple of teslas um i had a look at getting buying a tesla the old sports car the first one the rocket what's it called the, the, the roadster the, the tesla roadster yeah they were like 30 grand when they came out they're not anymore James. Oh, the original one you yeah mean. yes they're oh, not anymore no, they won't be um i hear that uh ev sales in the uk all ev so just solely ev cars not hybrids uh, went from 630,000 at the end of 2022 to just under a million at the end of 2023. How are you now? Noah, my son, is obsessed with Carbolics, your book. Oh, is he? Obsessed oh, right. with it. I didn't it. know anybody had bought Chapter it. Chapter and verse <laughs> every evening. He gives me another story because it's all little stories, isn't it? Yes. And uh, he says, he says, we are now to electric cars where we were with um, uh, um, combustion uh cars to do compared to horse and carts it's just all part of the same story yes and i i think i mean i've i've had i've been driving electrically since 2014 and i've also um toyed with the hydrogen thing i've had to give that up because the infrastructure has fallen apart unfortunately um so i'm about to get a new tesla i've sold my old tesla s i i love electric driving uh, and I think it's always been obvious that cars should be powered by electric motors. That you know, because well, the buses were, weren't they? Yes, exactly. And I mean, when the they century. had overhead supply, I mean, it's 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 easy, it's easy to operate, it's easy to maintain, it's quiet, it's clean, blah blah blah. Obvious. But I still think, despite my enthusiasm for them, I think of electric cars as the hot air hand dryers of the car world. They're great, but you still wipe your hands on your trousers. In the end. Yeah. So they're not quite there yet. And I think we need another leap in battery technology. But Have you uh, met Elon? No. Would you like to? I would actually, yes. Because I, although I find him annoying in very many ways, I do approve of quite a lot of what he does. You're a huge fan of space as well. In... Yeah, I like space. I like what he's done with, with Twitter. I, I know it's not, um, and I know I'm not supposed to call it that anymore, but some of his basic principles I think are right. He's going to have great difficulty implementing them and it might all fall over. But I, you know... Well, a lot of people say Tesla's is still destined to become the biggest company in the world in the next 10 years. Yes. James, you've got to get to this morning this morning with Alison and Dermot because they're waiting for you. And if they're short on research notes, they just got to listen again to this last 45 minutes because you, you'll get like 10 minutes there. When you sit. And they'll give you some food. You'll be part of a cooking item. Oh, well, I, oh, OK, well, I better go then. You've right. probably heard my guts then making that noise. That <laughs> just for the mention of food. <laughs> James, great to see you, man. Yes, and you. All Lovely, the best. as ever. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. James May, our man in India, out now on Prime Video, and he's heading off as I speak to this morning, this morning. If you fancy a bit more James May, that's where you need to be.